Hello everyone, um, so it's a full day of eating video, um, as I said I'd do, uh, so I'm, this is week three of the off-season now, um, and I started at 106 and a half kilos, and this morning I was 111 and a half kilos, so five kilos up in two weeks, obviously we're doing something right, so uh, I'm going to show you what I'm scranning, so you get an idea, so I've got over here prepared meal one, which is uh, 130 grams of oats with uh, 50 grams of whey, um, and then I'm also going to chuck in 75 grams of a banana, uh, 50 grams of blueberries, and then I, a natural nut butter of choice, I gave it a whole uh, smooth peanut butter, so um, that'd be meal one, and I'll uh, chuck up some macronutrients on the side, if I could ever know how to do it. Um, yeah, um, and it's a training day today, so it's going to be six meals, uh, plus a post-workout shake, um, which I'll, I'll run through as I come to it, and today's chest and biceps, so uh, it's going to be a fun way to start the week. Okay, so I'm going to cook meals two and three together now, and I'll share a few little tips to make um, meal prepping a bit easier for anyone that doesn't find time. I don't know where you find time anyway, you make time, but um, yeah, often people complain about it, so these are things to make your life a bit easier. I'm going to cook meals two and three together, because they're both essentially chicken, rice and broccoli, uh, or, or green vegetables, I'm just using broccoli at the moment just because it's like you only have to have a few pieces to have 150 grams whereas when I'm dieting I do green beans because you can cook 150 grams of green beans versus 150 grams of broccoli two massively different things so I do broccoli now because I only have a few bites of it and it's gone or asparagus whereas when I'm prepping do green beans because there's loads anyway, I digress so, a couple of things to make your life a bit easier I'm going to show you now if I can Trying to work out this uh, this thing. No, we're still following me, fucking head. I've got this. There we go. Right. So, over here, rice cooker. Rice cookers saving lives, and an air fryer saving lives. Now, the reason why an air fryer over a um, the conventional oven, these just they cook so quick, and then when you turn it on, so I'll put it on an air fryer, you can change the temperature, change the time. You can even, because I've got the one with two, two drawers, I can put them on, so if I put two different things in there, I can press sync, which will basically mean they're both ready at the same time. Or if I want to put the same thing in, I'm cooking loads of it, I can put match, and they'll both cook at the exact same time. So it makes life a bit easier, and then that way I don't have to check on it. I know like, once the timer goes off and it's done, it will keep it warm, but it'll be cooked, it won't be cooking anymore. Uh, and likewise with the rice cooker, I don't have to watch it. I can put... Um, dry rice in there and then using this measuring cup here I always had one cup of water per 50 grams of rice so if people have issues where like you don't know if you do your your food raw or cooked or whatever like having constant measurements so like this cup of how much water per 50 grams of rice is going to be constant so it's always going to be pretty much the bang on the exact same whether cooked or raw regardless of that I cook everything raw at the moment so I'm going to put Two meals worth, so I've got 120 grams for meal two and 110 grams for meal three. So that's 230 together. I'm going to put that in the rice cooker. And then I'm having 200 grams of chicken per meal um, for two and three. So I'm going to put 400 grams in the air fryer, which goes on for 20 minutes with just a bit of salt and pepper. I also add a little bit of salt to um, the rice whilst it's cooking in there. So that's going to that's gonna take pretty much bang on 20 minutes. But this one put that on, they're going to finish pretty much at the exact same time. Um, so whilst whilst meals two and three are cooking, I just thought I'd, um, I'd quickly share like a few tips on how to like eat bigger, um, because one of the most frequent conversations I've had with people who, who are trying to put size on is they're saying that they can't eat. Um, and now to, to some degree that's something like I don't really understand because I've got a big appetite, I can eat a lot of food, I always just have done. Um, but I think that also part, partly stems from the fact I'm very active, like I've got a very active job. Um, and even though it's the off season now, so I wake up and I do 25 minutes of cardio in the morning. Um, and if you're struggling to eat, I'd recommend this. Now it sounds weird to say, you, you're struggling to eat, do more exercise. Like, cause you're like, well, the whole purpose of eating is to, to, to try and get bigger. If you're burning through some of that energy, surely that means you've got then less energy to put that size on. And the reason I'd say it's, it's a good idea is because if you wake up still a little bit full, and then you're trying to force in from meal one, that's a miserable day of trying to get all your food in. 
that's a really miserable day. Um, whereas if you get up, you do a little bit of exercise, you get you know blood pumping, blood pumping around you, you get your food digesting through you. When you sit down to eat meal two, probably an hour later, uh, meal sorry meal one probably an hour later. By the time you got up, you, you've you've done this and that. You've got and you got down, do cardio, come back up and cook your meal and all that. You're gonna be a lot hungrier for it. And um, and if you're hungrier for meal one, the knock-on effect of being a little bit hungrier later in the day is gonna be great. So that. By the time you probably go and train, you, you're kind of nicely full rather than feel like you've just forced in a load of food and you're going to be sick. So yeah, um, other tips to help you if um, that's not cutting it as well, and I think this is what everyone should be doing regardless of you trying to gain weight or trying to shred down, is to have some digestive aid in the morning. So every morning, uh, if you haven't seen uh, in the Arnold Classic, Arnold UK vlog that I did, um, I just talked through that um, every morning I have Hot, uh, lemon, uh, half a tablespoon of fine sea salt, a full tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with the mother, um, 15 grams, sorry, 10 grams of glutamine and two grams of taurine. And I have that with hot water um, and then and then 500 mils of that water and then I drink that. So that there are all things to just kind of basically help get your digestion started as well as a little bit of rehydration with the salt as well after a night of basically not drinking any water you know for whatever six to ten hours whatever it how long you sleep for um and then with meal one and meal six i also have um like a little probiotic so at the moment i'm having yakult just because it, it tastes really good and it i think they say they've got like 20 billion digestive enzymes or something like that in the world live cultures or whatever it is i don't really know the science of it but i know that probiotics help promote having a healthy gut and t typical of everyone today not just like in the fitness industry but a lot of artificial sweetener gets put into you know whey protein or into pre-workout or you know if, if you're dieting down you're having a diet drinks you know um you know those artificial sweeteners over time what they can do is they can like corrode your um your intestines so they're not quite as good at um basically extracting the nutrients now, if you're trying to get big, you want to be able to extract all the nutrients you can get. And likewise, if you want to shrink down, you want to be able to extract all the nutrients you can get. So um, so a pro what a probiotic does is it helps encourage like a more natural, healthy, digestive uh, flora, I believe is the exact word that you use, digestive flora, or biome, or something like that. I can't remember anyway. Um, but uh, the reason I'm doing it is if it helps me digest food better, and get more out of the food that I'm putting in, then obviously it's a good choice. And you know what, since I've started using um, Yakult or, or just any probiotic since since about October, um, I feel like I've improved. So, um, I mean, obviously there's loads of other factors there, but if it's added that little few percent or something, I'm gonna take it. Um, I, I normally train like a bit later on, but I'm training with my mates today, so I'm gonna kind of swap meal three and meal two around. Uh, just because meal two has 10 grams of olive oil added to it and meal three doesn't um, and I don't really want too many fats in there for before I train I've already had 30 grams of natural peanut butter in meal one um, and that was only a couple of hours ago so I don't really need any more just of yet and then what I'll do is meal three which will have um, a little probably an hour after I've trained I'll put them the oil back in and um, and then yeah It'll be and then it will just be business as usual. And I uh, email finished product of meal two, um, 120 110 to 120 grams of uh, rice. Obviously, I took it all in one go and kind of split it evenly. Um, 200 grams of chicken, 150 grams of broccoli, and salt and pepper, and a little bit of Frank's. Um, because Frank sauce is really good to use, super low calories, super low carb, high in sodium. Obviously, we want a bit more sodium, uh, especially as seeing some going to go train after. Uh, I don't normally eat out of a Tupperware, but I was on the phone to my mum and I, I got distracted. And then I put the olive oil in the uh, the stuff that was in the bowl, that meal. So now, um, yeah, I fucked that one up. Uh, so that one I'll have later. At least it's in a bowl, so it's not better to microwave than uh, in plastic. Okay, so i um, got my post-workout treat ready. So that is... 50 grams of hydrolyzed whey isolate, um, not just whey isolate, hydrolyzed, it's even faster digesting. 20 grams of cyclic dextrin is also in there. 
um, which is a fast absorbing carbohydrate. I've got 10 grams of glutamine and five grams of creatine in there. And then what I also have intra workout here is one serving of essential amino acids, along with five grams of creatine and two grams of taurine in there. Um, so as you can see, I don't have any intra workout carbs at the moment. I only have 20 grams post workout and um, there's no cereal or anything fun in at the moment, unfortunately, which is really sad. Um, but everything's a bit cleaner and I can tell that the progress is a little bit better just from not having as many as refined sugars. So yeah, uh, gonna go train chest and biceps now. Okay, so uh, post-workout meal three is going in. So like I said earlier, it is the rice with chicken, uh, 10 ml of olive oil and some broccoli. Um, very annoyingly left that little camera tripod Osmo thing in the gym. Uh, so hopefully someone hasn't stolen it and uh, it's been handed in, but if it's been nicked, then um, I only got myself to blame. I think I only filmed one fucking exercise as well, what an absolute dumbass. Um, but yeah, so that, that's annoyed me. But anyway, let's go on this food, see you for meal four. So it's meal five time. So as you can see, I've got that's a uh, 130 grams of white pasta with 200 grams beef mint and 150 grams of coloured veggies. Um, so one of the conversations I had with Andy after um, prep was that I just wanted to try some more coloured veggies and fruit in my, uh, in my diet because I feel like if you're just eating greens all year round, you're not getting really much of a um, variety there. And the off-season's a good time to have a little bit of variety. So, uh, so yeah, we've got 150 grams in here, which works out pretty much as one pepper and half a red onion. Which I've been doing pretty much since I've started this diet. Um, the white pasta that could actually be rice instead. I've got the option to change it. And normally, from going to work, I'll just bulk cook a load of rice and do it that way because it's just a bit easier. But having a time at home and stuff, I do the pasta just for a bit of variety. Um, so meal five is here. We are on cream of rice meal. Hundred grams of cream of rice. Two scoops whey. I it's meant to be isolate. I'm just using up some some blend I've got left over. Um, 10 grams of coconut oil and 100 grams of strawberries. Uh, cream of rice, you don't have to get the ones made by supplement companies that cost you way too much money. This is like two quid in Asda. It's a one and a half kilo bag of ground rice. You're already adding whey protein to it, which tastes. This one's white chocolate hazelnut. So it's gonna be banging. So you don't need to spend 20 quid on a kilo tub when you can spend two quid on a one and a half kilo bag and it's going to taste just as good if not better and in terms of making it dead easy i add 300 ml of water chuck it in mix it up two and a half minutes in the microwave bring it out mix it up again another 30 seconds in the microwave done add the whey add the coconut add the strawberries and off you go so yeah nice and easy fast digesting meal Normally, I train after work, so normally this is the last meal I have at work before I go train. No, I only have one meal after after a train. So yeah, see you at meal number six. So, meal six, last one of the day. Excuse my hair, this is what it looks like when it's not uh, tied back. But um, this is the real me. Anyway, moving on. We've got 150 grams of rice with 200 grams of beef mince. We've got one slice of white toast with uh, 20 grams of natural al almond butter, 50 grams of banana, got one yakult, MVP, for keeping the digestion going, and I've got some glutamine in here with me, Sist or Max. And then, yeah, um, so that's, that's a full day of eating done. Total calories of 4,894, so just shy of 5,000. Um, 354 grams of protein. 671 grams of carbs and 88 grams of fat. So that's still pretty low. Um, and yeah, very manageable, very manageable to get all that food in. It's all clean, as you can see, there's no there's no fun stuff, there's no cereal, nothing calorically dense. It's all just a lot of whole foods. Um, and I'm managing it very well. So, uh, and the weight's going up. So lots of room to push with, uh, with extra bits here and there, which I'm sure we'll get to further down the line, but I'll keep you all updated. Hopefully at that point I'll be a bit more of a mass monster rather than skinny kid doesn't even lift. But yeah, if you've watched to the end, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. 
uh, copy my diet to look exactly like me. No, don't do that, stupid. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you like the um, my bed head hairdo. I don't think uh, anyone does, not even me, missus. But stay tuned. Thanks, guys.